Let us look at the next section, students. This section contains two matrix match the column type questions where entries in column one have to be matched with entries given in column two. The entries given in column one may have one or more entries in column two which shall be matched with them. So let's start with question number 39. So in question number 39, we have been given some species in column two and the bond order of these species is given in column one. So we have to match the compounds with their respective bond orders. So we can probably start with the entries given in column two in this case. So if we talk about N2 plus, so N2 plus has a bond order equal to 2.5. So P will be matched with C. If we talk about the second entry given in column two, which is N2. So we know that N2 has a bond order of three. So the entry corresponding to Q in column one shall be D. So D will be matched with Q. If we talk about CO, CO also has a bond order equal to three. It is isoelectronic with N2. So D will also be matched with R. And if we talk about O2 minus, so O2 has a bond order equal to two. So O2 minus will have a bond order equal to 1.5 as the electron will be added to the anti-bonding molecular orbital. So option B shall be matched with S. So if you talk about the last entry in column two, which is HE2, HE2 has a bond order equal to zero. So A will be matched with T. So students, we have the correct matching for question number 39. Let us look at the next question. Question number 40 now. Match the reactions in column one with appropriate options in column two. So we have been given some reactions in column one and in column two, we have been given the names of the reactions and some characteristics related to those reactions. So if you talk about the reaction given in A option, so it is not a Canizaro reaction. It is not a benzylic acid rearrangement. It is a bare Williger oxidation using a peroxy acid. So S will be matched with this. The hydride shift is not the RDS in this reaction. There is no hydride shift taking place in this case. And there is an intramolecular migration. So in this option or in this reaction, there is an intramolecular migration of the paramethoxy benzene group. So T will also be matched with this. So the correct matching of option A will be S and T. If we talk about the reaction given in B now, so in reaction B we have an intramolecular Canizaro reaction in which this carbon is getting reduced and this carbon is getting oxidized. So this is a Canizaro reaction. In Canizaro reaction, the redetermining step is the hydride shift. So R will also be a match. And if we talk about the T option, intramolecular migration, this is also correct students. There is an intramolecular migration of a hydride group from the carbon which is getting oxidized to the carbon which is getting reduced. So T will also be a match. If we talk about the C option now, in C option, we have glyoxyl reacting in the basic medium. So this is also an example of an intramolecular Canizaro reaction. So we are going to have PRT as a match to option C as well. And if we talk about the last option, so in the last option, we have the benzylic acid rearrangement happening. So the option D shall be matched with Q and there is an intramolecular migration happening as well. So T will also be a match. Students, we have the correct matching for question number 40 as well. So this is it for today, guys. I hope the solutions were clear to you. Thank you.